adding and subtracting fractions, a la Schmidt. Have you ever known someone who wants to be just like you? Maybe the kid who lives next door, or your uh, little kid brother, or your stalker. Well, maybe they noticed your sweet new plaid pants and decided to wear the same pair. They do whatever they can to be similar because they want to be friends, in a creepy sort of way. Well, adding fractions sort of works the same way. If the denominator is different, one or both of the fractions attempt to have the same uh, bottom. Take 2 thirds plus 1 sixth, for instance. Well, in order to add the fractions, we need to make the denominators the same. We do this by multiplying the top and bottom of the fraction by the same number. In this case, we take 2 halves times 2 thirds to get 4 sixths. Remember, 2 halves, or 2 divided by 2, equals 1. So we're actually just multiplying by 1. Now the denominators are the same, so we can add them. We get 4 6 plus 1 6 equals 5 6. Well, guess what? It works for subtraction too. Subtracting, we get 4 6 minus 1 6 equals 3 6. And of course, we can reduce it to get a half. Sometimes both of the denominators need to be changed. Like 1 8 plus 1 3rd. Well, what's the common denominator there? Yeah, you gotta multiply it. 3 times 8 is 24, so we gotta multiply the 3 up here and we get 3 24. And then 1 3rd, well, you gotta multiply that by 8 divided by 8 and you get 8 24 That gives us 3 24 plus 8 24 and if you add the 3 and the 8, well, we get 11 24 voila. It's annoying when someone's copying you all the time, but hey, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery.